video has made it evident that where human beings fail to understand each other's emotion, nature fills the blank. Earth Day is celebrated worldwide on 22nd April every year to spread awareness about the preservation of our worthy planet. The Vidigers family profoundly believes in the fact that nature has the power to heal your soul and freshen your mind. Good morning everybody, I am Sia Batra. I am here to take an interview from the student body about the views on World Earth Day. So my question to you is, what do you think, what are the measures one should take to preserve the environment? Uh, I guess one should raise awareness about the reduction of fossil fuels. So my question to you is that what is the significance of celebrating one monster? According to me, we celebrate one month of day because it's important to plant trees on earth and we celebrate it on 1st of July. According to you, what is environment? Environment is something that has surrounded us from the day we were born to the day we will die and it is something that we have to keep very safely. According to me, environment is we use and need in daily life, like trees, give us oxygen and etc. What is your favorite flower? My favorite flower is marigold. It looks so beautiful and it is used in poochas. I would like to give the message that we should practice sustainable development. One message I want to convey to the whole student body is don't throw garbage and plant as much tree as you can. Grow more plants and trees. I feel let's make the earth a better place to live in is what everybody believes in and I too. Um, we and our minds depend on the environment but we cannot live without it and the environment also depends on us that we keep it safe. So here we are with the vice head girl of the school, Mannat. What do you think, what would you like to tell the student body about the significance of Earth Day? So being the vice head girl, as a message I'd like to quote, what Mr. Lester Brown has stated that we have not inherited this earth from our forefathers rather we have borrowed it from our children. Thank you. How will you invest in your planet? 
Uh, see, first of all, I believe, I strongly believe that one day is not, you know, sufficient for investing in uh, on the land which actually nourishes us. If there would be no earth, we would not survive, mm -hmm. isn't it? Our survival is completely, you know, or directly related to the survival of the earth. So if we take it in that way, then each and every day with, you know, small actions, right, we invest in... Uh, the sustenance of our planet. I think the whole world uh, should celebrate this Earth Day because we are at a very crucial juncture. Now, at present, we are facing a lot of environmental hazards across the world. So, it becomes very relevant today. Yes, sir. How will you invest in preserving your planet? This Earth Day is really a very remarkable day. Yes. And everyone should understand its value. Investing in Earth, you know, means Earth is our mother planet. Okay. It is giving so many things to us. It is giving food, it is giving water, air, everything that is necessary for survival, human survival. But we human beings have become greedy. Yes. Huh. We are trying to fulfill our needs without thinking about the future generations. What unsustainable practices you will adopt to preserve your planet? Live with the mineral. Right? Do not accumulate what is not needed by you. Leave it for others because we have to be conscious that the resources we have on earth are limited. Yes. And which we should have a habit of understanding that is to be shared by all. Yes. So only take as much as you are shared, as much is essential for you to survive. I would say just to survive. Don't accumulate more than that. So that's what I practice. Like for last two, three years I have stopped accumulating things of any kind, any materialistic thing. I have stopped shopping, I have stopped any kind of purchases. Uh, because I think I have enough to live a life. Right? Yes. What are the sustainable practices you will adopt to preserve your life? First thing, the bags which we are using. Without realizing, we use the bags, plastic bags. Then, more of, as we are talking about, pandemic has taught, we should go for more techno, savvy things, so using less of papers? Uh, well, I would uh, try to, wherever possible, if I have to travel a long distance, I would prefer to go use a public transport. Yes. So now my third question is, is celebrating Earth Day for one day sufficient? No, I don't think so. Uh, it's not the Earth Day uh, or any day, a day to celebrate that day, but it's a kind of a reminder for us. Let continue doing it for the whole year and then we are again reminded after a year. Let continue it with the same momentum, with the same interest and with the same enthusiasm. Yes. So we have to celebrate our day every day. Yes. No, not at all. How can it be sufficient for one day? It is an investment of every day you have to invest in it. No, the message of it should be followed on all days. Now, let us say in this times of fashion, you know, if you have a celebrate Earth Day on one day and then you have a very large wardrobe mm. in your house, you know, you are in a way uh, not following the message of Earth Day in its true sense. Last but not the least, I would like to ask you, what is your message for Earth Day this evening? Live and let others live too, on the same planet record are. Thank you. Think about environment as well as our future. Yes, sir. This is my message on this Earth Day. Please celebrate Earth Day every day. Thank you. Thank you. My message for Earth Day would be that love the Earth yes. the way you love yourself. And if you love yourself and take care of yourself, you do it on a daily basis. Yes, so love the Earth and take care of Earth on a daily basis. Save Earth because then Earth is going to save you. I, on the behalf of VD Justice Community, take the pledge to save our Earth in every way possible and inspire others to do the same. I love trees. Go green and save your wonderful Mother Earth. Go green. Follow the policy of three R's. Produce. Recycle. Reuse. Please protect our plants. Save the Earth. We call the Earth our Mother Earth. So the way we respect and love and treat our mother, let's do the similar thing to our mother earth. We love earth.